Welcome to this video on how to set up and calibrate the Magnaform probe. This video will show you how to use the Magnaform with the new MXC Weld 1.0 R1 software. This software is to be used exclusively with the Magnaform. The Magnaform will not work with the standard MXC software. The new software is provided on a compact flash card. The material used in this video is carbon steel. The following steps are valid only for carbon steel materials. Other materials will be supported in the near future. First, we need to assemble the cart with the right wheels. The Magnaform can be used with magnetic wheels, rubber wheels, or a combination of both, depending on the application. To change the wheels, you would need a hex key to block the axle from spinning. Insert the key opposite the wheel you are trying to remove and use your fingers to remove the wheel. Select the required wheel and make sure that the threads are placed away from the cart. Hand tighten the wheel and repeat if necessary. We will now assemble the Magnaform probe. First, you must pick the right wedge for the job at hand. Four types of wedges are available. Flat, 12 inch outer diameter, 24 inch outer diameter, and 24 inch interior diameter. In our example, we will use the flat wedge. Attach the Velcro to the loop section closest to the wing nut. Tightly attach the other end of the Velcro to the probe. The Velcro will hold the flexible PCB in place. Place the probe in the cart and tighten the wing nut. Attach the cable to the probe and adapter. Attach the adapter to the module and the encoder cable to the Omniscan. You are now ready to start the application. Insert the compact flash card into the Omniscan MX and power on the instrument. Select MXC Weld 1.0 R1, raise the probe and press the check mark key. We are now ready to begin calibrations. The first calibration to be done is a sensitivity calibration. Sensitivity enables the Magnaform to properly compensate for liftoff. Press start and raise the Magnaform in the air and press the check mark key. Place the probe on the carbon steel calibration sample and press next. The default settings are correct for this type of material. Press next again. Press start and scan the full notch. Press stop once the notch is seen on screen. Press next. Using the scan start and scan length buttons, place the cursors before and after the full notch. Press Compensate Liftoff. Press Next. Return the Magnaform to the initial position on the sample. Press Start and rescan the full notch. Press Stop once the notch is seen on screen. Press Next. Place the cursors before and after the full notch and press Next. Press Compensate Sensitivity and then Finish. To validate the compensation, return the probe to the starting position on the sample. Press the play key and then scan the full notch only. Lift the probe straight up and then cover the sample using 2 to 3 millimeters of paper or plexiglass. Rescan the full notch and compare the signal on screen. Press the freeze key. Press the blue key, go to Weld Inspection Cursors, and move the cursors to compare the readings on both notches.
If the readings are similar, the instrument is properly calibrated. If not, redo the sensitivity calibration. We will now perform a sizing calibration. Sizing enables the user to size defects in analysis mode. Press Start. On the next screen, press Start again. Scan the entire sample and then press Stop. Press Next. Place the cursors before and after the 0.5 mm defect and press Register Defect. Repeat for the 1, 2, 3 and 4 mm defects. Press Finish. To verify the sizing, place the magnaform at the beginning of the sample. Press the Play key and rescan the sample. Press the Freeze key and then navigate back to the cursor menu. Place the cursors before and after the defects and validate the depth reading. You have now successfully calibrated your instrument. We hope you enjoy this instructional video on how to set up and calibrate the Olympus Magnaform Pro. For more information, contact your local representative or visit our website at www.olympus-ims.com.